What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is TechBox, uh, and I'm going to be showing you here how to install Siri on your iPhone 3GS. Because I have one here, it's a 3GS. You can tell by the buttons here at the side that it's a 3GS. Um, so what you what you're going to do here is you're going to you need to have a jailbroken phone uh, with a CD on it. Obviously, if it's jailbroken, uh, it should have CD on it. Um, and just give a few minutes here to wait for it, wait for it to load up. Um, so it's a pretty cool thing here to put uh, Siri on it. Um, the only one problem here that I've been having is uh, trying to uh, get uh, a proper proxy for it because you do need a proxy uh, that works for it. Uh, I haven't found one yet, um, but you can go ahead and do a Google search. Um, I am also going to put a list of proxies. Uh, I'm going to do a search here for you guys and put up put a, a list of proxies um, that I've never tried before uh, in the uh, description so that you can try them out and see which one works. Uh, some of them may work and the only reason why they won't work at the current time is because they may be overloaded. Uh, just ignore this right here. I've added some uh, sources and uh, it came up empty. So I have to delete the sources. I haven't deleted, haven't, uh, deleted them. Uh, that's what I'm getting, uh, this little error. Alright, so I'm going to return back to CD here. I'm going to do a search, and we're going to search for Speary. We are going to search for Speary. Uh, that would be S-P-I-R-E. Speary. And uh, you're going to select it, and uh, you're going to install it. You shouldn't need to add. You should if if it doesn't pop up for you, you can leave a comment. Let me know, um, and I will properly address that situation. Um, and go ahead and install it. It is a, a large 100 megabytes uh, download, uh, so make sure you are on a Wi-Fi network uh, because it, it's a really long download. And once you download it, you will uh, need to reboot your phone. Um, so once you reboot your phone, uh, you can go ahead. We'll see. Hold the home button here. Then obviously that's voice control. We don't want that. So cancel. And we're going to go into the settings. And then from the settings. When it boots up here. You know I've noticed it significantly uses a lot more RAM. Usually when I, when I have like nothing running in the background from a fresh restart of the phone. I would normally have anywhere from 100 to 120 megabytes free. Uh, but now it's with Siri installed on it I own I won't go above 80 um so I don't think I have anything right in the back I have some stuff right in the background um but what you're gonna do here you're gonna go back I'm gonna, sorry about that you go back to the settings um you're gonna go to the uh general and you're gonna go to Siri and you are going to turn it on uh so just uh be aware that uh, Siri sends out information, like when you're doing the, the, the Siri thing, when you talk to Siri, uh, it'll send out information like your uh, voice input, obviously, your contacts and location. Um, so be careful with that, uh, you know, and uh, if you, you're not a uh, privacy freak, I can go ahead and enable it, and it is enabled. You're going to go back, and you're going to go back again to the settings, and you're going to go scroll down where it says Spiri uh, and then you're going to click that and then this is where you put in your proxy I already have a proxy in here but it doesn't work as a matter of fact I'm going to try it now so once you enable once you put in your proxy there um, you go ahead and uh, press the back and go home uh, and press and hold the home button and you see it quickly starts up and shuts back down because the proxy doesn't work properly or is overloaded. Um, so, uh, oh, no. really sorry about this, but I can't take any requests right now. Please try again in a little while. Alright, so if you guys uh, found a proxy, let me know too because I am in search of one. It's a really cool feature uh, that you can put on your iPhone. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much how you install it. Uh, if you don't need to, if you search for Sperry in your CDI and you don't find it, 
uh, just let me know and uh, I'll find a source for you uh, so that you can add that source or you can just google it and you'll find it and just install it uh, add the source and do another search for Spiri and you'll find it um, so that's pretty much it you, you, I, I could pretty much have uh, Siri on here but except you know I, I'm having little issues so, uh, finding proxies you can however create your own proxies for Siri um, for your from your computer, but you'll 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 need a a, 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 a Linux distribution. Yeah, that's what you'll need. You need a Linux distribution system, not Windows. Not gonna work with Windows. I don't think it'll work with Mac either. Just uh, just Linux, um, and like Ubuntu, and you can set up your own server. Um, I have no idea how to do that. I don't think I'll be doing it. Um, so. Uh, you can go ahead and do a search, and um, you'll see how it, it's it's a long process. It could be very difficult because you are setting up a proxy server, uh, and uh, that's pretty much how you get Siri here on your phone. If you can, if you guys remember, if you guys find a work in Siri, just let me know. Send me a PM and uh, give me that as proxy. And just remember that some proxies do work, even though you, if you're able to press and hold it, and you're able to talk to it, and you're able to check. The ball will spin around and then reply back that it's having a problem. That could just mean that the server is overloaded. There's a lot of people, because um, it is kind of a popular thing here to do with uh, Siri, and the server is overloaded. So, but if you press the, the home button and it just quickly just denies you, that means it could be a problem with the proxy server. Um, you just 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 try another one. So, uh, thank you for watching and um, hit that like button. And your feedback is welcome.